So my last call of the day is race six. It's the War of Attrition Novice Hurdle. It's over three miles. We haven't had a card, which is unfortunate. And well, they're already racing. We've got the great Stormwitch here looking for his fourth win on the bounce. Dropping down into a standard novice hurdle after winning great great events the last two weeks. All over the first of the twelve flights here. And this Pacific storm is leaving us reluctantly. Finally settles. And takes another cold. The swing slightly rested right handed here. This Pacific storm at least spike up the legs of storm which is all bearer. The inside is Smoky Joe. On the outside of all these is Shafgan Thursday. In between those of Cajunly Castle. Between the rear is return of the Royal Furrow Stargazer as we go to the second. So they're all over that and there's still Pacific Storm. It's been, yeah. We lose a few as we seem to be going on a bit of a turn there. And it's Pacific Storm that leads us from Smoky Jones Storm, which means that on the outside is Return of the Royal. The purple sorts of furrow stargazer running along the round of grey occasionally castle. Why do that is sword bear and shafgan thirsty just bringing up the rear? So we're still two and a half miles to go, it's Pacific Storm. And it's by about five to Stormwitch and Smoky Joe together. In return of the war, Barrow Stargazer, two by two, Sword Baron occasionally castle. And Shaggan Thirsty is a rear as they take the third. In this Pacific Storm, it still leads. By about six, Stormwitch and Smoky Joe, return of the war on their outside. Burrow Stargazer and Sword Bearer. Shaggan Thirsty and occasionally castle drops into the rear now, the grey. So it's Pacific Storm that leads us here at Punchestown. Novice hurdle. We go over the fourth, the further the flight's taken. Another eight to contend with. That's Pacific Storm with a five six length advantage from Storm, which will return to the Royal. We've got Smokey Jones, Sword Bearer, Forest Stargazer, Shafgan Thirsty. Just at the rear. Occasionally Castle, just a couple of links detached at the moment. Plenty of racing still to be had. That's Pacific Storm. By five still to Stormwitch. Turn the Royal and Smoky Joe. Get to the fifth, the way over that. It's all barren. Not really got anywhere to go. Except a little bit locked in. Shotgun first on his outside. Still a couple of links back to the detached occasionally castle. Encourage the line occasionally. Keep in, keep in touch. Pacific Storm. More pace being set here. With a four length advantage from Stormwitch. Return of the Royal and Smoky Joe. Inside Shatgan Thirsty, Sword Bearer, Furrow Stargazer, Occasionally Castle the Great. With a mile and a half still to go. It's Pacific Storm and Storm Witch going into the six. And we'll get over that. See so another shot from the stands here. We're even further away on the course now. I mean, would you pay your money at Punchy's Town to see racing that far away from the grandstand? Anyway, it's Pacific Storm that leads. Those advantage now down to about three to Shafgan first. He's moved up into second. So they go to the seventh. Stormwatch moving well on the inside. The outside of that is Return of the Wall. Sawbear has got a bit of room now. Smoky Joe's still there. Forest Stargazer has just dropped off his pack. And still a couple of lengths disconnected. It's occasionally Castle. Another mile and a quarter. Another four flights to take. It's still Pacific Storm that leads us from Shafgan Thirsty. Stormwatch and Sawbearer. Return the roll between those. Smoky Joe on the outside. We go over the eighth. He takes it well. He's still leading by Pacific Storm. Getting a little bit in the file now. Shafgan Thirsty in second. Then Stormwatch and Sawbearer are together. Return the roll drops back a little bit. Smoky Joe's moved up against the row. Forest Stargazer in pushed him on for a few strides. Occasionally Castle's got a little bit closer. So we've got a final mile to travel. And it's Pacific Storm still leading. Here comes Sword Bearer and Storm Witch. And his advantage is down to just a length now. As we come inside the final mile, and it's Pacific Storm and Sword Bearer. Shafgan Thirsty and Storm Witch. They're a couple of lengths away from Return of the Rolls. A bit slow over that. Smoky Joe have lost sight of Occasionally Castle. And it's Furrow Stargazer. As we come down to six furlongs from home, it's Sword Bearer. Pacific Storm being hurried along a little bit to maintain position from Shafgan Thirsty and Storm Witch. These four are a couple of lengths away from Return of the Royal and Smoky Joe, but it's Sword Bearer happily bounding along in front now inside the six. They go over the tenth. They will take it well, the leaders, as is everybody. Furrow Stargazer's dropped right back to the rear now, but it's Sword Bearer that leads. Hasn't asked for anything from Pacific Storm being hurried along on the inside. Shafgan Thirsty still sitting there ominously. Storm Witch looking for his fourth win in a row. Smoky Joe make up a bit of ground now. Here comes Return of the Royal as well. So as we swing right-handed in the final half a mile, 
Wow, it's Saul Baron, Pacific Storm, Shaft and Thirsty, Smoky Joe pushing through now. His return of the Royal wants to take it up inside the final quarter. So it's Pacific Storm heads for home first, gets over the penultimate, jumps it well. On the inside was Pacific Storm in between horses is Saul Baron, but it's return of the Royal has got the lead on the rest as we come down to two and a half furlongs from home. So it's return of the Royal and Saul Bearer. Pacific Storm starts to give way. Shaft and Thirsty trying to run on Storm, which has got a lot to do to, to win his fourth in a four in a row but his return of the Royal and Saul Bearer. These two are neck and neck, middle length and a half punch from Shaft and Thirsty and Stormwich. But his return of the Royal by a length now as we come down to the final furlong and one to jump. His return of the Royal starting to pull away from the rest. He's got a two length advantage from Saul, Saul Bearer, Shaft and Thirsty, Stormwich, a four jump there by Saul Bearer. But his return of the Royal inside the final half for Vernon. It's going to be a win for the return of the Royal. He's going to take the war of Driven, obvious hurdle from Stormwich and Shaft and Thirsty fighting out for second and third. Saul Bearer running for fourth. Occasionally, Castle got up the fifth. And Stormwitch dropping down numerous grades, turns up at a novice hurdle. Doesn't get his fourth win in a row. It's a win for return of the role. Josh Sutherland. She's getting thirsty, hung on for second. Stormwitch was third. Fourth, sword bearer for Leon van Rensburg. And fifth, our long time leader for Pacific Storm, Great Beckwith. I'll hand you over to Martin now for the final races of the day.